You sure? Yep. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> Hola y bienvenido al primer episodio de Scoff y Stuff. Yo soy Sayu y aquí tenemos a Monarch. Monarch. Sí. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Sayu and welcome to the first episode of Scuff and Stuff. It's always the first episode here. I'm Sayu. No, it's episode two. No, it's episode one. We talked about this. You already forgot the bit. <laughs> welcome to the first episode. Totally the first episode and not episode two, which Monarch episode, seems to have episode forgotten. Episode two after episode one, which is the pilot, or episode one after episode zero. You exactly. decide. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, I'm Sayu. Hello, and I'm Monarch, or Amelie, because I can't decide. Yep, or Have Mercy Daddy, <laughs> apparently. Because I can't decide. <laughs> can't decide. A woman of many names. God. Anyways, today's episode will be themed around star emoji voice acting. Star, <laughs> star emoji. emoji. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that the title on the YouTube yeah. channel? Like, star voice emoji acting. voice yeah, acting? Yeah, little, little star. You know how you put like little stars to like <laughs> voice acting. Voice acting. Wow. <laughs> so magical. <laughs> Dear <I> love Lord. <laughs> oh my gosh. A uh, magical Leo Pluridon. <laughs> Leo Pluridon. <laughs> One of these days we're gonna have to bring in Joel just to piss him off and like I'm excited. Just Listen, dude straight featured up. Featured guests featured guests but I, I don't know if joe would be the best guest for the voice acting one you know what i mean i mean wouldn't it be great if we did have a voice acting guest and like we were like okay joel we're gonna have you <laughs> test out some scenes and we've picked some scenes here for you to like revoice <laughs> and then all the right, first v one is just candy mountain <laughs> all right vtuber that wishes to be voice actor get ready to be judged by us go ahead <laughs> go ahead you have to play this perfectly. This is your one and only opportunity to get into the industry. Go ahead. That was terrible. That was really bad. Come back in again. We're waiting. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. Perfect. I didn't even say it. Perfect. Uh, moving on. Thank you so much for your time. We will definitely be calling your agent. I don't have an mm -hmm, agent. Mm -hmm. Now get out of our <laughs> studio. Get the fuck out. <laughs> My worst nightmare. <laughs> Now get out. <laughs> get out. <laughs> Dear Lord. Um, uh, well, seeing as this is the voiceover one, and a lot of people primarily know us as VTubers as opposed to, hell, some people don't even know that we do voiceover. I still get like every day folks being like, wait, they're the same person? <laughs> same. I didn't same. know. So how about really hysterical. we start by saying some of the roles we've done. You go ahead. I'm so Ladies down. first. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hello. Uh, my name is Amelie. Hello, as you know, we already did our intros. Uh, you can hear me uh, as uh, Jing Liu in Honkai Star Rail, Uta in One Piece Film Red, Maureen in My Dress Up Darlene, among many others. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I go by Alejandro Saab. This is the fourth intro we've done, but I mean, we got to do it. Um, <laughs> I voice Sino in Genshin Impact, Jing Yuan in Honkai Star Rail. Uh, Akihiko Sonata in Persona 3 Reload and a bunch of other stuff that I can't think mm -hmm, of right mm -hmm. now because my brain has gone blank with everything. Same. Oh, <laughs> Kaiju number eight. I'm in that. I'm the villain. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, just some of the things we've done. We've both have been in this industry for a bit, you know. A while, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, professionally, I think it'll be nine years for me in November. I don't know. I can't do math and I have no recollection of time, but 2011 was my first role. Like in the industry? Mm -hmm. Holy crap. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, because I started indie wise, I started around 2012. 2007 is when I started indie wise, but my Bam. first like pay role was like 2011. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> like where I actually sorry. went into a studio. Yeah. Can you, can you say that again one more time? When did you start? 2007. Bam. Sorry. Go ahead. It's been, 18 is that 18 years damn <laughs> i started i started Sorry. the same time as uh as when i did all my music same, it was like the same time man that's crazy mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i know <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while yeah no so yes, these two elders will now tell you everything that we think we know <laughs> whoa, whoa, two elders uh there's an elder and a young strapping <laughs> lad <laughs> all right <laughs> i'm a i'm not even nine in this world i'm eight i'm baby <laughs> like i don't want to they're a freaking hag Listen. over here with a teen in there. 
I'm baby at heart. I, I at I'm heart, short, 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 short. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Then how did how did you get started? I I, I remember mm-hmm. vaguely hearing how you got started, but uh, mm-hmm. obviously to the folks that don't know. Right, right. Um, I started uh, online as mm-hmm. just a nerd. I was doing English covers on YouTube, which is what I'm primarily known for. What? Um, Sorry. Right. No. Right. <laughs> what? Wow. I've been doing that for 18 years. Crazy, crazy. Uh, but some of the first songs that I recorded needed VO in them uh, mm. because they were just like ripped from anime and uh, they had like the anime VO in the middle. And so I was like, yeah, I'll oh. give this VO thing a shot. <laughs> I, I hate I tried it, it when songs do that. <laughs> I know. Me too. But there, 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 there weren't full versions of the time or right, I didn't right, know they right. existed back then. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I gave it a shot and I was like, I kind of like this thing. I started going to cons. Uh, I sat in a bunch of panels with voice actors talking about what they do. And I was like, I heckin love this. Uh, I fell in love with the craft. Uh, it had been many, many years, but then I moved to Dallas, um, took a bunch of classes, started doing um, behind the scenes uh, voice acting stuff. Oh, I won a, I won a voice acting competition. Yeah. In the, I won AX Idol, which was way back in like 2011. I won a lot the last year. Uh, Bang yeah. Zoom and Viz Media put it on. Um, at Anime Expo, actually. Yeah, um, I remember. I, I remember that part mm-hmm. of the story. Yeah, yeah, I won that, and that, and one of the prizes was, oh, you get to, you you'll you'll come into Bang Zoom and do some uh, behind the scenes mm-hmm. uh, like additional voice acting stuff, and that's how I got my start professionally. Yeah, pretty crazy. Yeah, it, <laughs> a it's wild crazy. ride. It, it's crazy. So they don't do it like to the extent I think that they mm-hmm. used to do, but they no. still to this day do those contests for anyone who's like yeah they changed it to like open auditions Mm -hmm. um where they'll they'll do like an open audition like at their booth yeah uh, i believe at ax which is really cool so if you ever go to anime expo in los angeles um yeah check Uh, check it out give it a shot they do it at expo i think anime central like Mm asin um i don't know i i think there's another one i just can't remember but i know for sure those two is where like bang zoom will go and they will um have those like competitions still like those mm-hmm, open auditions mm-hmm. uh the the most re I, I can't remember if it was the one in chicago i think they did it for like undead unlock um cool but it's but it's really cool they actually do offer like opportunities and it's yeah I like, no oh, i think it's awesome yeah. Yeah, and, yeah and even if you don't want to get on stage and do it i think it's awesome to go and like be in the crowd because i feel like you can learn so much by just watching yeah as well yeah mm-hmm. no because i i feel like especially with a lot of classes folks just go and they're like i want to show off i want to do my thing and i was like that's great but you can learn so much so from much more by the listening. people around you yeah like the people yes. performing and all that stuff and i was like mm-hmm. oh that's that's so cool you know mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yep 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 <laughs> yep 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 100 percent. yeah so give it a shot i can't believe i watched that video back and i go oh my god i was so baby wait is it still public <laughs> Yeah, the video is still on YouTube. So, someone's uploaded it, I'm sure. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Furious typing noises. <laughs> well, I know what I'm reacting to after this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, nah, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> Everyone's I mean, like. You can, you can. It's it's me like, I, I think I was doing like a K on scene. I'm just like screaming. It literally, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> it's literally just me now. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah, so. Hell yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Nothing's changed in the in the 13 years of doing this. I've just I've just found my real self now. <laughs> but yeah, how'd you start? I'm actually very curious. I'm um, the story. Yet. So it was like so, so when I was a kid in middle school, I was just making a bunch of dumb content like on the internet. Like I mm-hmm. was an eighth grader making videos with my friends. And then when I like it towards the end of eighth grade, I was really fascinated by machinimas, right? Ah. Like red versus blue. Um, like, uh, you know, there were a bunch of like, like the machinima network was making stuff with like years of war and like Counter-Strike. There were so many different ways to make content. And for those who mm-hmm. don't know what a machinima is, basically it is u- making a film using a video game. So like nowadays folks use like Minecraft or Fortnite uh, and um, I'm sure some other games that i can't think of i know that every now and then i'll see a halo one but uh, i was making uh halo ones because i was really uh passionate about red versus blue and one of my friends mm-hmm. that i made along the way was like hey would you voice a cop for me and i was like what he's like yeah i i need a really gritty cop and i was like i don't know what the hell you're talking about but uh also i'm 
13 going to 14 up and my oh. voice is not <laughs> like i don't know what it, it, what you're talking about so i did it and it, i used a pitch filter because i was like oh yeah because it was like so santa racking was finally and and then it was like so with the pitch filter it was like you know it was something yeah, like okay. uh <clears throat> so santa was finally like obviously that's exaggerated obviously that's exaggerated right right but, but you're, you're it, like i know the vision you're like i know i want to be yeah. this low but i can't do it yet. yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is really which is how far i've come by the way because now like i could just go way lower than what i used mm -hmm. to do like even with the pitch filter um the evolution <laughs> yeah so yeah I, I i did this thing and i was like oh okay and that was like in 2000 i want to say 10 maybe uh, 11 and then around like doing that for like a year i my friend pointed out that my voice had gotten lower and i was like oh you know this is actually kind of fun so i started mm -hmm. doing research i started listening to this podcast called voice acting mastery uh, i started reading books started i went on i want to be a voice actor.com Used to go on a website because um, back then this website existed. It doesn't anymore. It was called uh, Voice Acting Alliance. I'm sure you're familiar with it. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And there were auditions on there and all this stuff. And um, But yeah, it was something I wanted to try out. And for me, it was like, well, let me try it out, see if I like it. And if I don't, then I don't do it. Um, right, right. And even to push myself to see if I liked it, my senior year of high school, I took... Uh, drama which the drama elective was just improv and writing in theater um and in those classes uh in improv i got to play around and figure out what that this was just plain pretend and writing in theater i actually had to at the end of the year we wrote a script we gave that script to an, another school and that school gave us their script and we had to each perform our own like their oh. their script and they had to perform our script i they for some reason i don't know what happened they were like we should use alejandro and i was like what They're like yeah he's the he's the <laughs> yeah, he's the husband <laughs> he's the husband and i was like um uh, okay i guess uh and, and i had to memorize all these lines and all that stuff and that uh -huh. was like uh other than that the only time i had ever like performed on stage was when i was like in for, in pre-k like I, right, I, right. I was Mr. Smee in in Peter Pan, oh. <laughs> and I'll never forget. I'm not even kidding. As like so during intermission, what they had me do was they had me sweep like mop the stage, but they mm -hmm. were like, "You have to shake your ass a little," and I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> so this was in Ecuador, by the way, when I did that. Mm -hmm. it, it, this was more than 20 years ago. It was what? crazy. I love that direction. Yeah. And there, because it was like for the goofy effect, and I was like, sure, I guess whatever. Um, oh, but no. yeah, but uh, that those were my first experiences with acting, and then I realized, oh, I really, really like this. And when I went to, you I really know, like shaking my butt. No, no, how could I have known that I liked acting based off that? I was talking about the high school theater stuff. Uh, uh, yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> you fucking freak. <laughs> anyway uh i went to college i went to savannah college of art and design because for a while i thought i'd be an animator and mm. uh it during that year at scad that was the name of the university it was the most depressed i had ever been in my life mm. it was the one time ever in my life even to this day that i have had a suicidal thought um and uh and i was like yeah um i did my, I my project yeah. i did i did my last project i turned it in it was because the for 2D animation, the first project you get is animating a sack of flour. Uh, mm -hmm. And I turned it in and they're like, this was uh, this was great. It's a B. And I was like, you mean to tell me I busted my ass off hours animating to like four to five a.m. And I got a fucking mm -hmm. B. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't have fun at all. No. And I got really lucky because that same year uh, I was going to Akon. In Texas, the mm. anime convention, not yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, Akon, yeah, um, yeah. And when I was on my way, my friend uh, Rhyme Style, his name is Dino, but his YouTube handle was Rhyme Style. He apparently had messaged Gen Fukunaga, who at the time was the CEO of Funimation, which is now Crunchyroll. Mm -hmm. And I get an email from Gen being like, "Hey, Mr. Saab, um, w would you like a tour of Funimation?" And I was like, "What?" That's so cool. And. I took Dawn with me because Dawn was my ride and, mm -hmm. you know, and literally he, 
Uh, unheard of, but apparently the CEO himself gave me a tour of the of Funimation. That is so cool. Yeah, because I, I had told that story to other people, and they're like, normally it's like this guy or this guy that gives a tour. I've never heard Gen give the yeah. tour. <laughs> That's so, crazy. Yeah, and I saw like you people still have pro- photos of that. Oh yeah, that there's course? a photo of me Aww. shaking Gen Fukunaga's hand like in front of the Aww. Alphonse Elric statue, <laughs> and no way. Yeah, That's I was wearing. Cute. It's so doofy because I'm wearing a fairy tale jersey that you can only get <laughs> that you can <laughs> only get vibes. specifically buying this specific fairy tale box, and Aww. they only did like a hundred jerseys, and I'm just like, oh my god, I'm such a nerd. And I remember it was during, like, the Dragon Ball Resurrection F movie, like, right before that came out. So, mm. Gen dropped a, hey, would you like to do an interview? And I was like, what? Yeah, you interview me. And I was like, what? What are we doing? Aww. So, it was a whole thing. And, but I got to see folks perform uh, behind the mic. And I was like, that's what I want to do. Like, I that was that. like, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was, it was yeah. really freaking cool. So Hell yeah. Yeah. I love that you went from animating though to like doing the thing that people now animate. Too. Yeah, I know it's it's so cool, and I and I still have an appreciation for animation. Man, when I course, see yeah. like stuff like anime, I, I just watched the Haikyuu movie last night. By the way, mm, dude, I there is Haikyuu. one moment in this movie where like the movie already looks good, mm-hmm. but there is a sequence where the animation just goes to another level that Damn. me. Howard, who was next to me, and Stephen Fu was on my other side. Mm-hmm. That when the animation started going, I was like, "Damn, damn, damn!" Hell, I gotta check <laughs> like, it out. I was like physically shaking. I was like, "What the hell is going on?" <laughs> and all of us, the three of us, were like, we all looked at each other. Like, did the what, what the what the hell just did, happened? Did you, are you seeing what I'm seeing? <laughs> Yo, it was bonkers. But to this day, regardless, I appreciate uh, like animation and seeing all the different mm-hmm. styles, not just in anime, but like. In 3D movies and 2D movies, I always like my my fa- I do have favoritism towards 2D animation uh, over 3D. But man, mm-hmm. the stuff that folks have done with 3D animation as of recently, with like Spider Verse, Puss in Boots, oh, uh, yeah. that new Incredible. movie, dude, that new movie coming out called Wild Robot, it looks majestic. Mm-hmm. Like it, it's like they're blending 2D with 3D, and I and yeah. I'm all for it. I, I agree. It looks so heckin' cool. Yeah. I think the teams are really crushing it. It's because everyone's trying to do something, do something different and like yeah. innovative, and it's so with like the the industry is just like on this incredible like upward journey together. Yeah, mm-hmm, for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, that's really cool though. Oh my yeah, God. <laughs> that's that's my weird long origin. <laughs> which is crazy because so I'm a little bit older than you, but you started at thirteen fourteen, which I also yeah. started at thirteen fourteen. Yeah, it's oh, yeah, it's actually crazy. It's we, we found that out. I think we found that out during a panel, right? Like we did a panel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was that the panel we did with Sunny? Uh, no, it was the panel that we did that solo panel. It was like oh, a couple times before that. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> God, that was funny though. Yeah, that's funny <laughs> panel. Oh gosh. Yeah, if you guys are listening, uh, every once in a while, uh, me, me and me and Sayu have different uh, con agents. We don't yeah. always go to the same cons, but every once in a while, a con gets smart and books us both. Yeah, at the and then same they get time. dumb, and then they put us in a panel together, and they go, oh, "No, yeah. what we what have we done?" <laughs> the last con we did, it was really funny because they were like, "All right, we're gonna have Sayu, Monarch, uh-huh. and Sunny Straight," and we're like, <laughs> "Now, we're like, <laughs> we love Sunny." Oh yeah, love. And Sunny. this is a voice acting panel. But we know damn well this ain't going to be about voice acting. Because <laughs> it was like a Q&A. So it was like everyone yeah. like lines up and asks questions. We were like, oh, no, people might only ask voice acting questions. Or, what or are V2B. we going to do? <laughs> or no, sorry, VTubing questions. Yeah. What are we going to do? <laughs> yeah. And it was really funny because then because Sonny is also like an artist, like a comic artist and an animator. Mm-hmm. So he was like, what is VTubing? And then he was like started <laughs> to get interested. And it was really yeah, cute. Yeah. yeah. I, love no, I was like jokingly like we have to create him a VTuber person. Yeah, like, it's I, dude, idea, honestly, right I think he would be all for it. He would kill it. Yeah, yeah. he'd be so funny. And he could like do his own little memes and doodles. Like, he'd be, he'd be so oh good at God. it. What a unique VTuber, but I don't know if he'd have the, I think he would pay someone to rig it, but like art, a drawing oh, in yeah. it and everything, I think he'd do himself. Oh, that'd be so cool if it was like a sketch like VTuber, yeah. like, you know, it was like kind of like, like rough. Oh, that'd, yeah. be, so, that'd be so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It'd be so cool. Anyways, ideas, ideas. Ideas. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good stories, though. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at that. God, voice acting alliance. That really brought me back. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Bringing it back, baby. <laughs> Bringing it back. That was old, old school. That was like 2008 to like 2000. I think 14 was like its 
it's like yeah end. Okay. well well the funny yeah. thing is is that because i started uh auditioning on that website in 2012 and by the time mm-hmm. i got in there apparently it, it was like the tail end of it so ah. but i remember because of that we worked on a project together like mm-hmm. one of the very first things i booked we were in together and that's kind of like how the first time we started talking wait um, me and you yeah dude it was a on- while ago what i don't remember on voice acting a lot Mm-hmm. It was like I can't it, audio file. It was oh, this like shit. visual oh, never yeah. that ever existed. <laughs> I forgot. Oh my god, dude! You're like unlocked nah. a memory. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was really funny because I remember we had like exchanged messages for a bit, mm-hmm. and then the first time we saw each other in person was when we were both officially in Texas. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> wild times yeah, Core yeah. Memory i was like shit. wow what a small world to what like a small world indeed well because like you know you meet friends online or Absolutely. like uh, other peers online you only really know them by their profile picture mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you meet them yeah. in real life and you're like shit you're a real person <laughs> and in this day and age like oh my god i'm sure you've gotten this a lot the vtubing right because we do oh, VTubing, vtubing so much yeah so many people i've had come up to me at panels or, or not panels but uh cons being mm-hmm. like this is weird. And I was like, what's weird about it? It's like y- your face. <laughs> I know people will come up. Uh, I've had VTuber friends come up to my, to my table and be like, hi, it's me. And I go, who, who is me? <laughs> <laughs> they have to give me who a business card. They have like, to give me a business card to like me realize, Oh yes, of course, obviously. <laughs> that happened with, um, with jo- Joel came up to my table. Oh, with, like, a, really? Like, a, posse, a posse of VTubers. That's and he was, like, so funny. What's up Monarch? And I was like, but it was like a, it was like four or five people like staring because I was sitting down at my, so I looked up and they're just like looking at me expect like expect expectantly. Yeah. And I'm like yes, hello. <laughs> <laughs> like I was like who are these? Why are they staring at me? And then I realized like the like the voice finally clicked. Yeah, it's so okay. not fair. By the way, it's a little unfair for us, like because yeah, everyone cause knows what we everywhere. look like. <laughs> But when, like, our friends don't give us the heads up. Like, if they're at an event, if we're all at the same event, they'll, like, text us and be like, we're hanging out, right? And we're like, yeah, sure, whenever. But they don't, like, Tell give us. us they, look like. they don't send, like, a mugshot. They don't send, like, any sort of, like, I need an ID at this I know. point. I'm waiting at, like, I'm like, I'm at this pillar, like a lost child, like, looking left, looking right. Like, anyway, is, does anybody look like they're coming my way? Like, <laughs> I have no idea who I'm waiting for. <laughs> As if like a dr- like a like a dragon a VTuber is gonna like walk. <laughs> yeah, just walk expecting like Vienna to show up as this like ten mm-hmm. foot tall blue dragon <laughs> from the cosmos. Exactly. When does the boss music start? <laughs> bum, bum, bum. You just hear Bowser's theme playing as Chibi walks in. <laughs> I'm gonna start like dyeing my hair every con so that they so that I get one up. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna show up with black hair one day, then like white no. hair, then blue. <laughs> That'd be pretty pretty crazy. Yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe. Maybe on the uh, angle we talked it'll about... change. Oh? No, I yes. was just gonna say it's gonna change color depending on the angle they're looking at you. Oh damn! Like 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 rainbow hair. Yeah. I wear a disguise. Maybe I'll just get like some really bad disguises. Yeah, just cosplay Uta. And no one. <laughs> No one will know. <laughs> Monarch? No, it's me, Utah. <laughs> it's Utah. <laughs> it's Utah. <laughs> God. Damn. Well, we did talk about Voice Acting Alliance a little bit. And one yeah. of the number one questions I saw on mm-hmm. the tweets that you guys asked on That's Twitter right. um, was what other websites we recommend um, that are like that. Um, I'm just going to jump into a question here that I see uh, from uh, Hidden Tome uh, mm-hmm. said, other than a casting call club and promoting on socials, what other sites and resources can one go to to work on projects or audition? I mean, VAA was was a thing. Yeah, it was the thing. Yeah, it was the thing. But like I, I, like everything, things, you know, have their time and they yeah. end. I think right now, uh, is, it, is it casting call club or what is that that is on one website? i've heard like mixed bags about that one if i'm gonna be mm. honest i don't personally use it uh the voice acting club that is it. the one voice i would rec- recommend yeah because voice acting club is like a hub of like voice actors that uh i believe i could be wrong is hound by kira buckland who is a nice. veteran in the industry mm-hmm. at this point 
Um, mm -hmm. And uh, there are it, there's a Discord, there's a website, there's a forum. Like it is super cool, and they are constantly sending out like for indie projects and that kind of thing. And mm -hmm. um, there's also funny enough, like honestly, I've seen a lot of them on Twitter. There's a lot of casting I was gonna calls say Twitter. on Twitter. I've actually auditioned for things on Twitter. And same, same. I, yeah. I have. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, there's um, funny enough. If you are more into like if you already are uh, getting into the professional space of voiceover, like if you've done like, you know, if you've worked at a studio or whatever, LinkedIn, mm -hmm. um, LinkedIn, it, it, like I always when, like when I started, I was like, no one ever uses LinkedIn, like no one ever <laughs> uses LinkedIn, but like. I'm not kidding. Like people use LinkedIn for some casting and it's just very mm. interesting. So, I mean, I'm like, okay, why not? If that's the game you got to play, like, sure. It just depends yeah. how much time and commitment you want to put into like right. getting into it, you know? Yeah. And there are websites like voices.com and voices one, two, three. I've, but never, those are paid. I've tried them. I've never had success with them because they're paid. Yeah. yeah. But I've had friends that have had great success on them. Yeah. If you are going to use voices or voices one, two, three, uh, be careful. It is pay to uh, pay to win, like pay to play. Yeah. Uh, not even mm -hmm. pay to win, pay to play. Um, yeah. So I would steer clear of that. Uh, and if you're not on that yeah. website, like every single day, every single second, like uh, there's no point. So yeah. I would honestly, your best bet is just go on uh, voice acting club. Um, that is literally uh, the, the safest bet. And it's not just about castings there. They have a lot of resources. I know they also have like classes uh, every now and then and like workshops mm -hmm. and just it, it's like a community there. So that is um, that's yeah. probably my go to for that. Um, yeah. And then there's also uh, I want to be a voice actor dot com by D. Bradley mm -hmm. Baker, which has a bunch of different resources as well. Yeah. Hell yeah. I think it also depends on what kind of voice acting you want to do. That is like also true. You want to do more commercial work because I feel like voices and voices one, two, three is more commercially. But if you want to do like character work. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, honestly, I think Twitter is becoming like the place. Yeah. I I, so I've been noticing more and more on Twitter, especially for like indie animation and like indie games. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and also like casting directors are constantly posting like stuff, whether it's someone that's working on a union project or a non-union project. They'll be like, hey, I'm casting for this thing. Uh, yeah. Please send me your information. Blah, 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 blah. Mm hmm. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. All, all great places. Check them out. Yeah. E -e -e. Did you have a? Did you have one that you saw that you wanted to? There was, uh, there's one that I picked out that I was like, this is a very interesting one because like so many folks have like come up to us and uh, like even on like Cameo or like different websites, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like, do companies usually? In, by the way, this is by Rayon, uh, Rayon for real. Uh, they have a Gojo picture, um, <laughs> and it's like, do it. companies usually in their contracts say you can't act your character out of X Y Z anime slash game? So mm -hmm. example they gave is if Ama improv is seen on stream between Jing Liu and Hayasaka, uh, would she be in trouble? And I think that's, it depends, right? Like yeah. it depends on the property. It depends on the company. I know for a fact, Pokemon does not like that at all. Like they're mm -hmm. like, you can only say the lines your characters say. Yeah. Um, you know, same with Disney. Uh, it, it honestly depends per company basis. Mm -hmm. And that that's honestly playing with fire. So yeah, I would say it's a it's a dangerous gray area. Mm -hmm. uh, and most of the times I'll just turn it down just to be safe. Yeah. Um. But yeah. 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 For sure. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. But was, yeah, they never. Yeah. 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 There was something I was going <laughs> to say on that, but I literally just had the biggest brain fart. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like I was like, what am I going to say about this thing that we're literally talking about it. just now? Let me pass the brain cell back over to you. Sorry, right, I've been right, hoarding right. it. <laughs> nice, nice. Mm, mm, contract. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a, this, yeah. yeah, yeah, you go, go, go. No, ahead. no, 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 no. Did you, no, 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 you, no, you. Cell? Did you find it? No, I didn't. Go I ahead. Gonna, I was going to stall until you found it. <laughs> okay, then keep stalling until you find uh, until I find it. Um, it's a great area also like when it comes to singing people are always asking me why don't I cover like character songs of characters oh. I voices mm -hmm. uh, but I don't because I feel like it's a gray area uh, if the character is singing the show uh, it's, if the character is singing the song in the game I don't want to cover it myself because they might have me do it later or I might have already done it and I just I don't, I don't want to run into that that gray area uh, so I, I actually why I don't 
I don't do that kind of stuff. I'll just like cover the opening because the character normally isn't singing that. But yeah, people ask me all that all the time. Yeah. Because mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. one of those uh, uh, like when it comes to because the reason I, I picked it out is because a lot of fans ask us at conventions or um you know on cameo it's like oh could you do this voice having uh, can you do the voice of x y and z doing um, uh this little bit or random you know kind of thing and it is a tricky slope right because yeah. uh especially nowadays where i've seen folks um have taken uh, fo uh like voice actors doing like certain lines and then like putting them on like a character or an anime and that kind of thing so oh, interesting it's it's a it is very tricky. It, it's per company. I think if basis. you're doing it tasteful, I it, I think it is gray area. But I think if you're yeah. doing doing it tasteful, like as long as you're not saying uh, like it's like I'm the voice of this and go fuck yourself. Like you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, like exactly, and doing exactly. in the voice, it's like I voice Nargo fart and I'm saying go die. Like <laughs> exactly. Like I always imagine like the client finds it you know you and you you want it to be a tasteful yeah you don't want it to be a situation where they get angry like so, the only yeah. time i think it would be in character you know if like mm -hmm. uh like if it, for example if someone asked me to do the voice of kaiju number nine and be like could you tell me to die I, i'm like well he literally says the line <laughs> you can go die now like i'm like okay yeah. then then it's fine right, but you like can pick that out yeah yeah yeah, yeah but i'm not but gonna I'm <laughs> but if someone asks it's like could you have jing yuen tell me to go Fuck my uh, like I can't do that. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I, I feel like it has to be because I did like a TikTok where it's like, how would my character sneeze? Like how? And I feel like that's that's cute. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a character exploration. Um, <laughs> Could you imagine if they dissect that? Like, and they're like, was that Uta? Was that Uta? Mm. <laughs> Play that sound file again. I want to hear yeah. it. I want to hear it. Or! <laughs> oh, but yeah, if I was just up there cursing in a character voice, but I said yeah. it was, but yeah, I think it's also that like a lot of the voices that we do can be seen as different characters. Yeah. Um, Cause yeah. like, I mean, it, it, no matter how much range you have, like, so, uh, like eventually some voices will overlap at that point. It's just about emotional range and how you portray right, the character. Right. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. eventually I'm like, I mean, hey, like we're voice actors and and we have like range, but like, yeah, come on, guys, like they're gonna <laughs> yeah, overlap. Yeah. They're, they're, uh, we're one person, like all right, like we're not at Eric Bowser. Yeah, Eric Bowser is Houdini when it comes to like voices. Like this dude can sound like oh. fifty different people. That like, <laughs> so true, so true. But yeah, yeah. I, I think I think staying professional, staying classy across the board, uh, will help you so much more mm -hmm. <laughs> than than it will hurt you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And speaking of voices, that's a good one. Yeah. Speaking of voices, this is uh, how I transition. This one is by Fluffy, which is kind Fluffy. of relevant. Uh, at Ari Bekalmed, Bekalmed. Mm -hmm. I don't be know calm? how this is. Yeah. Oh, be calm. Yeah, uh, dude. <laughs> this is this is my Utah. This is my Utah. <laughs> dude, I, I have love, this terrible. I be calmed. Be calm. I, I I blame. <laughs> the word games i play at, in the middle That's of the so night fair. where i'm That's like so all right fair. let me just you're like it needs to start with an a and yeah an a. yeah and i and then when you see the word you're like damn it i've been yeah. saying i've been saying something completely wrong this whole time yep yep anyway re be calmed uh their question is what's your process of getting into character or finding a new character's voice or emotions do you have any fun stories about that perhaps I love this because it gives a little bit of a behind the scenes. Uh, so sure. like sometimes uh, sometimes we're cast off of auditions uh, right. where we audition for the very specific character and we get called in for that specific character. And the director, you know, is like, we brought you in for this role that you auditioned for. Play that tape. And they like play your audition. Yeah. Uh, and they're like, we like what you did. We wanted like, and sometimes like they'll adjust it. And they're like, we wanted a little higher, a little lower. We're thinking that but we, but we like yeah. we like this this is the audition that got you the role um and sometimes you don't get cast off an audition sometimes you get cast off of like an audition you've auditioned for way in the past for a different character but they like it what you what you did they, they saw promise there they brought you in they're like let's find the voice together just yeah. off the bat we don't have anything to play for you uh just like the, like they'll give you like a base um like rundown of the character their age yeah. and they go just start reading the lines and we'll find the voice together and i kind of love that because you get to kind of experiment like with the director yeah um but yeah it, it, it really depends yeah i feel like in every different media like 
you know, whether it's anime, video games, like, you know, cartoons, like mm-hmm, it, it literally just depends. Yeah. Cause like with anime, I feel like it's a little bit easier to find the character just because, uh, you already have a point of reference with the Japanese. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. But even then, depending, sometimes the director is like, oh, I want to do our own thing. Or it's like, yeah, I want to emulate it, but also do it slightly different. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And with video games, that's a toss up, right? Like yeah, I, I was recently, thinking more of a video game. <laughs> yeah. Well, with video games, that's that's a complete toss up because like I know that a lot of people will bring up Poyo games because that's, you know, the, the more popular one that we've been in. Uh, right. They don't play us the original Chinese. No when no. we do these uh, voices and then we were trying to figure it out because when I auditioned for Jing Yuan, uh, my very first audition, he was not as low. Uh, I've told this story where it's like, Jing Yuan is just right here. This was a Jing Yuan originally. Uh, mm-hmm. It was just more my normal voice. And then they were like, yeah, but make him like this. And then when we, we eventually we recorded, they were like, actually, could you go lower? And then it went from there. And I didn't know that until we got in the booth. The um, same thing happened with me at Jing, Jing Leo. Oh, I really? just went with my normal voice and they wanted her more more tortured and, and dying. <laughs> so we Well there you we go. Messed with her voice. Yeah. The, the the very first session we went we went back and forth a ton trying to nail her voice down. Yeah. That's awesome. That's that's crazy. The same thing happened. Yeah. 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 That's so sick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's really fun to be able to experiment. Cause yeah, we had no um I I, I didn't hear Jing Liu's voice until yeah. the uh, trailer dropped. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. Yeah, it's it's something <laughs> interesting with like Hoyo games. I think they like they have an idea of what they they want it to sound similar, but they don't want it to sound one to one. It's almost right. like the the intention. I don't know how accurate that is, but that's kind of the vibe I get whenever we go in for these projects. Yeah, that's the vibe I get too. I feel like they mm-hmm. want us to have our own performance. Yeah, um, yeah, like respect. it's not too married yeah. to the original Chinese or maybe one of the other dubs. You know, like whether it's the <laughs> Korean or the uh, Japanese. Right. Um, and but yeah it it literally just depends on the director like finding the character like i mean when you're doing the audition you have an idea of what you want to do like it's like okay maybe something like this and then if you have more than one idea you do a second take right Mm -hmm, um mm -hmm. so like i mean sometimes like i did ask well like and this has worked a few times uh i'll be like this guy's giving me Spanish vibes. So I'll give them an, I'll give them a take with no accent and then a take where it's just straight up uh, Hispanic. He has an accent. I start throwing in Spanish words. And they're like, yep, that's the one. That, that, that's oh, the I one. I love it. Yeah. So uh, sometimes you just go with your instincts. Um, it Because it, honestly for me, and it's weird, I just go with what I personally think sounds cool. Yeah. Yeah. Which doesn't always hit the nail because when i play the nerdy characters they're not really cool you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, i think it's i think it's awesome because like like they're bringing you in because you're because you're an actor and yeah. they you have to bring your own experiences to those roles and i feel like mm-hmm. it can make it really special as well yeah i mean that also happens like when um sometimes there'll be a line and it'll be worded a little bit weird uh mm-hmm. and um Every every once in a while, I'll like ad lib something in like I I'll, I'll give like the one like the A the B options yeah and then I I'll do like a C where I'm like maybe we should maybe the, maybe this should be contracted this word or something oh like sure yeah, yeah 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 like just like something mm-hmm. uh something changed that happened a lot with uh I was in a show called My Dress Up Darling yeah and I voiced yeah I voiced the uh the main character uh, Marin Kitagawa and a lot of the lines that that that, that show was actually done during covid mm-hmm. uh, so there was a lot of time in between the lines where the engineer had to you know like grab the file from the cloud or whatever i don't i don't i truly don't know what they do and then they like they throw it and they'd like edit it and make it fit and stretch it or squish it down so there yeah. was time as they were editing and i sometimes i would i would just like goof around with the line i'd be like cuz i i'd like have the the match the um the mouth flap memorized in my brain oh, that's like cool. what else could we do here and a lot of those lines that i was just messing around with actually made it into the show <laughs> that's, that's so cool really funny oh yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah i um i i recently found out with like kaiju number nine i, I had auditioned for kaiju number eight um you know for a uh, multitude mm-hmm. of the characters but kaiju number nine wasn't one of the characters i had the chance to audition the director was uh he had told me he was like i have a character i want but i'm not sure and then what he told me was when i booked it he was like yeah i'm not going to lie i mainly cast you because I knew you could give me the weirdest reactions. And I was, yes. like, and I was like, what? And he was like, yeah, because this character is so weird, right? Because even though he's the villain, mm-hmm. he's just so strange because he sees everything analytically. 
and he's like, I have to dissect humans. And one thing we would do is go from high to low when he wanted to be like threatening. I don't understand you humans. I want to kill you. Like it, it was that yeah. kind of thing. Very is what unsettling we're doing. of a yeah. voice. Yeah. But with the the efforts, like the some of the noises I've made are just like, huh? Like just <laughs> stuff that you would not think is the pro appropriate reaction. And right. um, because well, he's like, he, like yeah. it makes sense. He's, he's like an alien, right? Yeah, so he's like trying exactly. to like emulate he's, speech. Yeah, yeah. He's so weird, and I love him. And one of my favorite things that we got to record, and this is actually in the manga. Probably not the way the the mangaka wrote it, but uh, the line is, I'm in danger. Mm -hmm. And we 100% went, we joked about, I'm in danger. Uh, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> and when they came up, he go, uh, I was just like, I'm in danger. And he goes, yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're keeping that. We're keeping that. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I love your voice for him. It's 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 really unsettling. Yeah, yeah no, I, I I'm really happy with uh, what we're doing. Mm -hmm. He's he's so weird, and I honestly was not expecting that skin tone. I was <laughs> like, I was like, oh, he's so fleshy. <laughs> he's trying to emulate a person. <laughs> yeah, but I think he's probably one of the most technical characters I've played mm. for sure. That's cool. It's really fun. I love when we get to play like that. Do yeah. something different out of our normal wheelhouse. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Actually, that thing that you brought up actually goes into one of the um, one of the questions that segways, I pulled out. Segways, baby. Yeah, segways, baby. Uh, uh, Gabriel Dells uh, mm -hmm. asked, if you don't manage to succeed in an audition for voicing a certain character, can you still be in line to voice another <laughs> character? Which is pretty much what you just said. That Absolutely. Story. <laughs> Absolutely. A hundred percent of the times. Um, I get cast all the time. Um, there's been so many times I'm not, I, I probably can't say what roles, but there's been so many times where I have auditioned for something, not gotten it. And then in three, six, you know, 12 yeah. months, I'll get cast mm -hmm. as a different character and the director will be like, yeah, I, I loved you as I, I loved your yeah. reads. We saved them. I, I, I kept you in mind and this other character rolled around. I thought you'd be perfect. Yeah. Um, so even your losses are not losses, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, uh, I mean, mm -hmm. I I auditioned for Genshin for the two years yeah. prior before Sino. Like, I, mm -hmm. I literally have auditioned for almost every male character up until Sumeru. And, mm, nice, it, nice. you know, it just, it takes time. And yeah. also, like, I audition, I, if I'm in a show, there's probably a chance I've auditioned for every character in that show before <laughs> I actually got in that I show. I know. <laughs> uh, whether that show, I will say, in that same vein, I had auditioned for a previous project didn't get it, but because of that audition, the director, uh, Mike McFarlane, cast me in Hell's Paradise as Gabi Madu. Mm. So, yeah, like, even though you don't book a thing, that yeah. director, if they're working on a different project, they'll be like, I really like them on this. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they would be great here. So, yeah. As yeah. long as you do a good job, as long as you're sending out, out every audition, as, yeah. as if you... Like you, you giving it a hundred percent, like that's all that you need because you're you're gonna be listened to, mm -hmm. which I think you're yeah that's your chance to be heard in front of the director. You want to do your best for sure because yeah. you just never know. <laughs> you really, really don't yeah. know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of though. things you might not know, um, uh -huh. have you ever recorded a line and you <laughs> and you go? I can't believe I said that. That's a question by uh, <laughs> Sir Nack. You're welcome. Uh oh man, like a like a like a. It could be. It, I, I would. I I'm assuming th he, they're referring to a line where it's like, oh my god, I can't believe I said that. Yeah. <laughs> I a hundred percent have one in my brain right now. I have one too. It it's one that fans will bring me things to sign and i go oh. ah. is it chiego I've, you regret saying it no, i know it i know no, it let's go no. baby i mean but that go. is the one <laughs> <laughs> i was thinking in like an actual show but the chiego thing does happen i've signed so many shigo booties i don't know there, there's one artist i'm not sure the artist's name but they they have they must go to every single con i go to because i've signed this character's butt so many times she goes on this print. yeah she goes but it's like a print with her from behind like, looking over her shoulder and she's like just in like a onesie oh my but like her God. cheeks are just out and i just I sign her <laughs> booty every time <laughs> I really hope I one day you get to go, do. Like, you voice her? No, I don't know. She raised me. I didn't voice her. <laughs> I really hope you do a con one day with the voice of Shigo. <gasps> That'd be amazing. I will be making a TikTok asking her to say Shigo. <laughs> <laughs> 
I hope she like agrees. You're about to do it, and she goes, "Did she go?" <laughs> the betrayal. I'll be like, 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 like that just, would like, be so funny, and I would be so vindicated. <laughs> Oh, it would be great if I was like, if if that was the whole bit where she said she go, and then I was like, um, I like, I like, like, like the camera like goes down. I'm like, yeah, you have to see, have to see she go. She's like, oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be great. That's not what we agreed upon. <laughs> know, that's what you said. I'm paying you under the table. Or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm paying you two dollars for this. You want those snacks or not? <laughs> that i can't believe i said that um i voice a character in overlord named <laughs> <Crush Lee. laughs> do you know do you know i, I know the character but i, oh. I honestly always forget you voice this character <laughs> <laughs> i know i voice a character named crush lulu in overlord and she's a pink lizard character and it just awakens something in some subset of some fan base <laughs> you did that yeah, you, did you know, she's like a she's like a lizard humanoid thing. You, you know, what? let mm -hmm, your mm -hmm. imagination mm -hmm, do with mm -hmm. that what you will. Uh, she has a line <laughs> that is. Quote, impregnate me, quote. <laughs> <laughs> and she screams it at the end of one Wait. of the episodes to another lizard man. What? <laughs> I yeah. didn't know uh, you say that. I do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's what immediately came to my mind when I. I can't believe I said that. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 How know, this has not reached the VTuber community is beyond me. Until I was now. I so mortified when, it first, when I first <laughs> recorded it because I was like, there's no way we're not changing it because I watched the sub first. I was like, we're not changing it. We're going to just say it. Uh, but now I think it's heckin' hysterical. <laughs> I hope you know this is going to get clipped and um, it's going to be put up on Twitter. I, I, I really hope. I, know. I, I really I know. want you to know that. I know. I, I have her little face engraved into my mind. Her little, her little mouth opened. Her little fangs. <laughs> It, okay, so I te so I saw someone in, in the chat bring this up, and, and there's they think the, the one line I regret, or I can't believe I said, was uh, from Namaka, by the way. Mm -hmm. In Namaka, I don't regret saying this line. I actually encouraged it because I thought it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> um, in Namaka, my character in season two goes, quit pulling on my hair until we both agree on a safe word. I do not regret <gasps> saying those words. That is some of the funniest shit to this day that I have said in an anime. That's so great. The I actually love that. Dude, it's hilarious because I'm just yelling it like a banshee. Is it like in the background of something? No, or is it, like main it is oh, front hysterical. and center. That's it. No, that fits Nambaka though. Because exactly. the comedy in that is so exactly borderline raunchy not board I mean, how do I describe that? Kind of. It's, yeah, it's no, I like, get what you mean. Like I get that. what you yeah, mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Innuendo. That is amazing. What a line. <laughs> Now, the line I actually can't believe I've said. Uh. <sighs> so I voice in a show called The Irregular at Magic High School. I thought you were going to say the master stroke. <laughs> no, I don't regret that. The internet ruined that for me. <laughs> no, I voice in a show called The Irregular at Magic High School. I okay. voice Tatsu Yashiba. Mm. He's the main boy. Now... Mm -hmm. This is from the spinoff show. The very first episode of the spinoff show, which is just season one again from the perspective of his sister. Here's the thing, by the way. Oh, I think I'm in that. Is that? Probably. Oh, going, maybe. <laughs> uh, it's like the honorary student or whatever. By the way, uh -huh. this show, I want to say right now, I do not condone the relationship that Miyuki wants with Tatsuya. Fuck all that. It's weird. Mm -hmm. I'm not okay with it. Um, mm -hmm. And... Basically, in this spinoff show, the very first episode, it's Miyuki's birthday, and they go to an ice cream parlor. And in the ice cream parlor, uh, everybody around them thinks they're on a date, and Tatsu is uh -huh. going to correct them. And she goes, please don't. And he's like, okay, I guess. Um, that's not the line. The line is right after, because she spilled some ice cream on her face. Oh, and no. <laughs> oh, I no. said, Miyuki, you have a little cream on your mouth. Oh, no. <laughs> and when I, when I said that, when I read that, I looked at my director and was like, surely, surely, <laughs> surely we're going to change that. Joke, yeah. 
my director just looked at me and it's like, you have to say it, Alejandro. You have to say it. You have to say it, Alejandro. And I was like, please. And he's like, say the line. And I'm like, you have a little cream on your mouth, maybe. <laughs> and then he's like, thank you, moving on. And I'm like, <sighs> oh. I will say yours is way worse. No, I feel like they're pretty even. <laughs> I agree, but you had to shout yours. That's fair. <laughs> I agree. At least, if, the, at least the context of like my character's relation, you know, like at least the context. is. <laughs> this was about eating ice cream. <laughs> That's fair. I know. Yeah. Yours is just factually worse. That's fair. My also oh, my. And then it on, wait, no, my, mine's even worse because after that, there's like a little musical section and they're what? totally they're, the two lizards are totally banging on screen. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I want to let it be known. My uh, my friend, editor and mod found the clip. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> I won't watch it. I won't watch it on the podcast. Yeah, I mean, she, she, she's a chunky lizard. I love her for it. <laughs> Good for her. What a queen. What a queen. Oh, Dear Christ. That was one of my very first roles, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What year was, was that? Like, that was, oh, man. That was, that was my, one of my very first roles at... Uh, funny. At Funny, yeah. yeah. Let me see. If it was that was season two, so that had to be past 2016. Um, 17, oh, yeah, that 18? was 20, 28, 2018. Yeah, 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 because yeah, I, I moved there in 2017, so yeah, it was like it yeah. was right around there. Yeah, crazy times. Damn. But I was like, oh no, <laughs> uh, we all gotta <laughs> be there never somewhere. Forget the director coming, like, because I, I, you know, like uh, at that studio, you uh, you like, yeah. you like, you like, you you wait in a little lobby, and then like the yeah. director will come get you. Um, and the director was like, just sat there, he crossed his arms and went, have you seen the episode? <laughs> like, yeah. He's like, all right. <laughs> Let's get in Let's there. Do this. <laughs> Let's do this. I, I'll I never will forget. say, I will say, to, to, to let you know, mm -hmm. there was a show, I can't talk too much about it, but there was a show I worked on. It got canceled. But it was possibly the raunchiest shit I have ever worked oh. on in my life. It oh was my God. porn. It was porn. Uh, and uh, you might know we can't say what it is. It we got canceled. Yeah. Technically, we legally cannot say what it is. But just letting you know, even though you said that, I probably have said worse. Anyway, that's all I'll say on that. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, next question. Go on. Next Go question. Ahead. Anyways, um. What a great question, though. I, yeah, that was a good question. Good question. So. Good question. Um, oh, okay. Here, here's one. Uh, this is from, oh, my God. Jingyi Wen, call me. <laughs> oh, how appropriate. I won't, but go on. I'm uh, not Jingyi Wen, so maybe you still have hope. <laughs> I know. I love it. I can't believe that wasn't taken. <laughs> I'm also surprised. Um, uh, are there any choices you made early in your career that you wouldn't advise others to make when starting out? Um, whether that's management, reps, mm. socials, or other. There are so many things that fall under this. I, my main thing, and I feel like a lot of people misconstrue when I say this. My main thing I would tell myself is don't be too overly familiar. And by that, mm. I mean, because I've said too overly friendly and people misconstrue that as like, Oh, don't be nice to people. No, no, be nice to people. But being over familiar is different. Over familiar is like, you don't know a person, but you act like your best friends. And uh -huh. I had that issue because I really enjoyed working at Funimation. And uh, I've, I feel like I've told this story at, at panels, but not in on stream. Uh, one of the, one of my close friends now, Tia, Tia Ballard, she was one of the first directors I worked with at, at uh, Funimation. And mm. that show was Kiss Him, Not Me. When I auditioned for the show, she uh, had me read for like two characters. One of them was the one I ended up booking. But the other one, she was trying to explain how she wanted the voice. And she was like, um, do you know Scourge? And I was like, oh, from Sonic the Hedgehog? And she like lost it and was like, wait, you actually know my reference? <laughs> y y yes, yes, that's exactly it. And in my brain, I went, oh, great. We've made a connection. We're friends, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And 
I know this now about Tia, and you know me. I'm mm-hmm. very sarcastic. I'm very <laughs> sassy, right? Yeah, yeah. Tia cannot read sarcasm. Uh. I didn't know that at the time. So I would be making a lot of sarcastic jokes in the booth because that's just how I cope, right? Mm-hmm. When I'm nervous. And uh, apparently, I didn't know this until years later, like a full, like two years later. Tia was like, I thought you were an asshole. And I was like, what? And she's like, oh. yeah, you were so sarcastic and you, you just came off as arrogant. And I was like, oh, oh. no, I, oh. I just thought we were friends. And she's like, yeah, I figured that out later. And I was like, what do you oh. mean? She's like, because I jabbed back and you laughed it off. And I was like, oh, well, yeah, of course. Like, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, like that was the, uh, that was the thing. And, and it was like, it wasn't only with Tia. Tia actually had to vouch for me with like other people. Oh. because I was very similar to other directors. And I was like, oh. So yeah, uh, if you're right. starting out in this industry, it's okay to be friendly. It's okay to make friends. Just don't be too over-familiar. There is a threshold of like where uh, you should like, your comfortability level, right? You should like right, right. be like, okay, what is my like social link with like this It'll person? stay professional, yeah. yeah. Like you can be friendly and you can like let down your guard but you have to remember that you are still a professional Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that is what the advice i would give myself that i would like like hey don't 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 get too comfortable (laughs) yeah Yeah, you you gotta remain like take remain like a or maintain a like perfect balance yeah i I got i got really lucky i will say so Mm -hmm. (laughs) oh man um i feel like I haven't had an experience like that because I um, was very awkward in the beginning and I just like I had it in my head that I had to be really professional. Sure. And so I yeah. So I kind of just went in and did my job and then left. Smart. Uh, in smart. The beginning. Smart. So I, I never I never fell into that. Um, mm-hmm. But but now but now I, I know actors and I'm, I'm more playful because I they I've worked with them many, many times and well, sure. They joke around and stuff. So it's different after that. But yeah. Um, but choices. Um, let's see advise others when they're starting out i made a demo way too early oh um, sure. and i spent a lot of money on the demo i think i spent like two grand on the Ooh. demo it was ridiculous 1500 i think it was yeah ridiculous it was way too much i had no idea what here? i was doing it was in dallas oh really um, yeah it was way in the beginning it was like before i even started working at funimation i just like i thought that i, that I needed a demo mm-hmm. um I just got some bad advice, thought I needed a demo. Sure. Um, yeah. And I spent a lot of money on the demo and I didn't really have, I, I didn't really understand kind of what characters I was even good at. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we kind of just like threw together a demo and it was, it was not, it was, it was fine. I, I got work off of it, right. but I wasted a lot of money and I very quickly found out after a couple of jobs that that demo did not accurately represent the voices I can do. Sure. Um, yeah. And the voices that I'm comfortable doing and the voices that I was getting cast as. Yeah. And I was like, shit, I gotta redo it. And I spent two grand on this on this demo. Yeah. Um yeah. <laughs> that is like one of the so, biggest misconceptions, right? Like with uh yes. when you're starting out in voiceover is like, oh, you need to have a voice demo right away. And I was like, no, no, not not right away. Yeah. No. Uh, and yeah, this is not the demo that I'm using currently. I've I've made right. like five or six demos since then. This is like this is the very very first demo that I made like early early I mean, yeah. in my career, like 2015, like so early. Um, We're constantly yeah. evolving and getting better yes. as time goes on. You know, like that just makes mm-hmm. sense. You know, I think I make a new demo every couple of years now because like, every couple of years I think is, is a good way. Yeah, exactly yeah. that too. Like yeah. if your voice changes, like yeah, you should get a new. Voice yeah. demo. My voice has gotten so much lower. I can just do so much more, and I'm yeah. I'm more comfortable. I I I I mean, I think you should base your demo off the characters that you're getting cast as. Mm-hmm. Um, but I feel um, like that should be because what I've learned, like over the years, um, is like the first three spots are probably the most important spots, right? Usually, mm-hmm. start with your normal voice. That's the usual, uh, whether that's in your slate or whether that's just your actual voice. And then mm-hmm. you can do a completely different voice to differentiate it. And then the third voice is probably like an accent or a singing or a talent that you, because it's like you, one of those things, it's like, oh, you write out what you can do, right? Like your resume. Right. Like, it's like, oh, I can sing. I can beatbox. I can speak another language. It's like, cool. You told me, but you didn't show me. <laughs> so true. So true. So in your demo, why don't you do that? 
Show yeah. me that you can do one of the best demo reels to this day. And they can probably be, I don't know how they are about it now. They could be like, nah, I kind of hate that demo. I don't know. But Max Middleman, if you've never heard their voice demo, oh, I have not heard their heard demo. voice demo is probably prime. Like, this is a voice demo. Like, what? I gotta go hear it now. Dude, like, his voice demo is like, he starts off doing military stuff. Like, he, he he's like all over the place. And then at one point, it's like, we're doing a rap battle, starting with you, yeah, son. And he starts beatboxing, yeah, and so I'm like, yeah. and I'm like, what the hell did I just hear? Like yeah. that is like a prime example of like that is a demo. That is mm -hmm, a mm -hmm. fantastic demo reel. And I don't think he's updated it yet because I'm like, he doesn't need to. It's a great representation right. of what he can, uh, what he used to do, and what he can currently do. Yeah. And he can probably maybe add on that his voice has gotten lower because of like yeah. uh red 13 because mm -hmm. that's maybe one of the only things that isn't represented in that demo but even then mm -hmm. i wouldn't i wouldn't touch that thing like that thing is Damn. like that's so cool yeah because yeah, it makes you memorable that's like the 100 the key yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah yeah so good i gotta go check that out damn mm -hmm. yeah but yeah there's there's so many misconceptions with demos you just got to make sure that you're hiring the right team to get your son yeah mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. sure uh, I uh, and there's a demo for everything, right? Like there's like an interactive oh, yeah. demo, which is like for video games. There's a, a cartoon demo. demos, car character mm -hmm. demos, commercial demos. I have a singing demo. Yeah, which hey, right yeah. now those are needed because so yeah. many like companies, especially cartoon companies, they're like, well, in our cartoon, you need to be able to sing. You need to sing. Yeah. You need to sing. So <laughs> it, it, it mm -hmm, makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. very common right now. Mm -hmm, but yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh. Yeah, I would also be careful of what you say on social media is Ooh, another thing. 100%. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I luckily never fell into this. I'm so glad that I kept social media like separate, but, I, but I've seen some others make some mistakes and I'm like, oh no, I'm right here. Forever. <laughs> what? I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one time Alejandro tweeted. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, that's totally fair, honestly. Like, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you, just gotta, you just gotta be careful. It's, it's the same thing as it is in the booth. You wanna make sure that your yeah. experience is like, that your your presence in the booth is the same as online. Yeah. You gotta be very careful about what you curate. Like you're you know, not make gonna an, make an alt account if you wanna Yeah. Say some stuff, if you wanna you know? vent or whatever. But like <laughs> yeah. you're not gonna like you're not gonna go into the booth, right? Be like, yeah, I I just had such a great time. Thank you for having me. You walk out and you're like, man, I can't believe I just had the worst experience of my life recording for a blink. <laughs> like, you know I know. You 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 gotta remember that uh clients see everything. Uh, they do. Yeah. <laughs> They, they like, really, really do. I mean, we've, we've talked about this, but like, m so me, me, me and Sayu upload a bunch of TikToks. I've had so <laughs> many directors bring up my TikToks in, in the middle of sessions. And I'm like, oh my God. I, oh no, they I have see. to tell you. <laughs> yeah. I have to tell you it's gotten worse. Uh -huh. Oh yeah? <laughs> Dude, I was I working. Out. So normally, normally, like I've gotten that like from directors or like people mm -hmm. who work at the studio, right? That's one uh -huh. thing because it's like I I've had it where I went to PCB while I was recording for Persona and Haven, mm -hmm. the lovely, lovely person. They they were like, I really like your smash and pass. And I was like, oh, of course. OK, God. <laughs> um, <laughs> but recently. I've worked with uh, I'm not going to say the client, but I've worked with his game company on multiple occasions and two different ones have told me it's like, oh, thank you so much for your work. Also love your Sayu stuff. I was like what this was not hoyo this was like a, a a company that i haven't worked with in a bit and the client was on the line and i was like what yeah what did you say yep. <laughs> and i yep. was like yeah you saw your stuff's hilarious i see it all over my shorts i was like oh my god i know i know <laughs> I was it's like, horrifying because you're like, standing there like the little like emoji man like you know like, <laughs> like you're like and you have the, the headphones on yeah. you're like oh my god yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's I crazy. Know. It really is getting out there, and uh, yeah. it's actually quite shocking to me. Uh, like, it's gotten to the point where I think in this industry, like, I, I even recorded something at Bang Zoom, and the client was like, it, it was like part Japan and like part American. Like, there were like two divisions, mm -hmm. and both of them knew. Damn. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like, at first, I thought they only knew about Persona. They're like, oh, I'm a big fan of your Akihiko, and I was like, oh, well, thank you. And yeah, your site you clips are hilarious, and I was like. Wait, whoa, 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 the whiplash. What are we talking about? I love it. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's it's getting crazy. So I'm just like, 
I swear to God, if I hear if I go into a Warner Brothers or something one day and I just hear them talk about, yeah, that Diego bit goes crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna lose it, bro. <laughs> I would lose my goddamn mind. There there have been situations where I'm like, there's no way this is happening right now. Like there's no way the worlds are colliding to this yeah. point. I feel like like sometimes I feel like a dinosaur where like when the meteor strikes, like I'm just standing there watching this meteor come down. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm like fl- like flat, like my life of like of content is flashing before my eyes. Like, all the TikToks I've ever made. I'm like, which ones have they seen? <laughs> what I'm just like, about? I hope it wasn't the Bracken one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally me thirsting with the Bracken or like saying Chiego or yeah. I just posted like, a TikTok of me like uh, playing Lara Croft and like her booty comes into frame and I'm like, I'm no better than a man. Like, I'm like, which, <laughs> which TikToks have they seen? <laughs> <laughs> I'm no better than a man. I'm no better than a man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I need to watch that. Like, but that is also true. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. See, see chat, men are pigs. Men and monarch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just I'm respecting the workout routine. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. 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 Sure. Sure. I, I'm mm-hmm. respecting the factory, the the the, the factory, the, the bread, the bread factory, the cake factory. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you mean the bakery? <laughs> the baker, sorry, the bakery. <laughs> I was like the factory. Where are you oh, going, sorry, Willy Wonka? My, my, my Damn. My brain is only on one thing. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, talking about funny things that happen. Bro, uh, I was going to say the same thing. (laughs) (laughs) I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. I was like, this is a great transition. This is it. This is it, baby. It's a great segue. (laughs) Chance ball. (laughs) Anyways, talking about funny things that happen. um, uh, This next person uh, at uh, put a bird on it now. I have several questions. Um, (laughs) uh, They ask. Do you remember any bloopers or funny recording moments you had when doing voice acting in any game or like anything, any project? Man, I, I have a few. Um, mm-hmm, go ahead. Okay. One of the very first, uh, these are more funny recording moments. Um, there was uh, one time I was recording Nambika and mm-hmm. uh, I remember it was the first time that Hayden came to America. Like, well, oh. not came to America, but came to visit me. It, it was like we had just started dating and they hadn't mm-hmm. seen uh, behind uh, the booth. Right. And Aaron, Aaron Dismuke was the director. Uh, and I'm absolutely going to put him on blast. I love that. Dude. I bet those sessions were so fun. <laughs> yeah. No, working with Aaron is uh, always a treat. And uh, yeah. he's uh, and he was like, yeah, Hayden can join. And I was like, OK, cool. So Hayden was sitting on like a, a chair watching us work. And there was this one scene I can't I remember. I think it was in season one. It was right after when Jugo had gotten separated from everybody else because uh, there was this whole thing during the tournament um, where he like, burst. Spoilers. Uh, relax. This is from 2016, bro. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> there's a moment where Uno is hugging a body pillow of Jugo. Mm-hmm. And uh, we did the line like twice. And Aaron's like, you know, can we do it one more time? And could you say it like you're coming on to a baby? And I was like, what? And he's like, what? Just, just, just try it. Just try it. Just try it. Everyone was always weird with like how he would describe certain things. So uh-huh. he, he, he muted the mic. And apparently what I did was uh, I like kind of leaned into the microphone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I was like talking to <laughs> like almost like, you know what I mean? And then literally like, like in a baby voice. <laughs> no, not in a baby voice, oh. but it, like, I mean, Uno was asleep, so it's like a sleepy kind of voice. Uh, okay. But it was really funny because uh, it was really funny because then Aaron, as the mic is muted, he started slamming the desk and he goes, he's doing it. He's actually doing it. And <laughs> um, yeah, was he joking with you? Was that yeah, he was he fucking wanted? with me the whole time. <laughs> but that was the uh, but that was the take he ended up using. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. He's like, oh, is he he's in there. He's really. <laughs> oh, my God. He's actually. The and then afterwards, he was like, you actually did that. And I was like, well, yeah. Why? You, you asked me. <laughs> and I was like, you're the director. And he's like, oh, so I have power. And I was like, oh, you fucking my. asshole. <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. <laughs> yeah. I, lo- I love Aaron. He's so funny. <laughs> I bet those sessions were, were a blast. That show just like yeah. like leans get like gives so much. <laughs> yeah, there was a there was another moment when um we were recording 
It wasn't with Aaron. I was recording with Tia. I can't remember the name of the show. It was like one of those like mobile games that got turned into an anime. Mm-hmm. And uh, literally, there I, I was doing these yells, and Tia was my director. And I remember that Felicia and Jesse Greeley, uh, Felicia Angel and Jesse Greeley were just hanging out in the booth. Mm-hmm. And I was doing like a, huh! and they stopped the session. Yeah. Tia looks at me and goes, we both know you can do better. <gasps> Damn. <laughs> at this point, we had already built like a sibling relationship just, to, just for context. <laughs> right, right, right. But right. I was like, damn. And Felicia just goes, we're not mad. We're just disappointed. <laughs> and then I do I it. That. And then uh, Tia unmutes the mic and goes, see, better. <laughs> And Jesse Greeley from even behind both of them was like, why are you holding out on us, bro? <laughs> and the best part you was... You had it in you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The best part was when I moved to LA the first time, the, uh, Tia had made me a frame that <laughs> with the text, we both know you can do better. <laughs> I love it. Wait, that's so cute, yeah, actually. Yeah, it was, it was adorable, and I love that. So, uh, but yeah, I'll never forget that story. It was, it was so funny. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I think the show was called Grand Crest War. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to look this up. Yeah, probably. It sounds familiar. There were a lot. That was like the season where like they were doing a lot of that. No, not that one. Not Grand Crest War. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, no, there was a bunch. I'll, I'll have to look it up. Uh, well, yeah. what was your funny bit while I look this up? Um, I was in an anime called uh, Kimono Friends. Oh, uh, which uh, sound cadence uh, did um, and I, I loved that whole team like we were yeah. we were friends so we were, we were always joking around like in those booths and just having fun so it was a very like like fun silly atmosphere mm-hmm. uh, and this was they were recording outtakes we knew we were going to re- re- like have outtakes throughout the entire show so like they were just like saving outtakes here and there from episodes uh, and actually you can go on to YouTube and like watch the Kimono Friends outtakes um, but I voiced one of the singing penguins a princess uh, uh, actually, yeah, princess. I went in for the last episode last, uh, and I believe I be- it was it was Howard or it was um, uh, Marissa played the. They're like, well, here's what we have so far: the outtakes, mm-hmm. and it was the other, it was the other penguins all dogpiling on me. It was Megan Shipman and Kaylee Mills and Don Bennett. Oh my um, gosh. <laughs> going like being like well she has a million subscribers like just this like the most hysterical things like as the outtakes like i couldn't even do my lines correctly clout like, clout I, clout i would just laugh and i'll just it was so much fun because i because i was just last so i just got to hear everybody before me but it was the most hysterical thing because i had no idea they did it like nobody nobody ratted on anybody about it like i just got to i got to hear it all Gosh. it was so much fun um but uh clout clout a- clout <laughs> there's another part in that show where um my character goes and our next song is and then i would say the name of the show the name of the song i don't even remember the name of the song because there's so many outtakes of me going and our next song is all the single ladies and our oh, next song ladies. is despacito <laughs> like and i i would not i would not say the line there's like 20 versions of me saying other songs <laughs> That blooper reel is just you saying all that it's stuff. Just me. <laughs> Our next song is "Drop It Low." <laughs> Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> One of my favorites. I mean, you, you can still go watch the outtakes now on on YouTube. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, good uh, times. I wish they still did outtakes. It makes me so sad. Yeah. Well, that was because they slipped. Like. They get they they accidentally one outtake accidentally slipped into the official dub. Oh, so <laughs> oh, no. they were like, we can never let They're that like, happen That's again. It. It's all over. We yeah. can't have these things. Yeah, it was it was bad. Yeah. Also, the show I was talking about was called Chain Chronicle: The Light of Hesitus. Uh But yeah, it was Chain Chronicle. Tight. <laughs> yeah, literally. Uh, I think the main bloopers I remember doing were on shows that I was usually. <laughs> The one show I did, I did it with Howard. Like we were each other's love interests, and we were just flirting with each other in real life. <laughs> like that, that, that. Like those are the outtakes. The outtakes were one of the outtakes was, uh, yeah, I pulled up a picture of Howard, so I'm saying these words to Howard and not to the character. 
I what? love it. it I love it. Stupid crap like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, too funny. Oh man. Great times. Great yeah. times. Good times. Voice over. <laughs> we love VO. <laughs> yeah. We have so much fun now. It's good. I love it here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. I just love when I get cast in something and it's like, oh, and your director will be. And I'm like, I love it. Like, like, yes, like it's going to be so and so. Like, hell yeah, we're going to have fun. Yeah. Like, I just know it's going to be a blast. Yeah. You're like, <laughs> my bestie. Yeah. I get yeah. so excited when it's Amber all the time. I'm like, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anyways, I love it. Um, okay. I have, there's one more question yep, here that I have. Last question. In. Yeah. You want to read it? I think I read the last one. <clears throat> By Goofy a Brute at Gooby Please 89. <laughs> how often do you two consume the media you're in? And what's your fa your first reaction hearing yourself in said media? Oh, interesting. I actually hate hearing myself. <laughs> <gasps> what? Really? <laughs> I hate it. I actually recently, like yesterday, played for the very yeah. first time Jing Liu's story quest in Honkai. I hate Honkai. you, by the way. I mean, congrats. <laughs> I know. Thank you. Thank you. Fucking, I mean, ha. <laughs> I know. Cowgirls make do and all that. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, for those of you guys listening, Sayu is mad because I pulled boot. Hill, I'm not. Uh, I'm not mad. I'm. <laughs> he's, I'm so happy for you. He's frustrated. And I, yeah. Yeah. I am frustrated because <laughs> you spent not a dime while not I dime. spent five fucking hundred dollars getting him once. <laughs> And his light like, cone ones. But I'm so <laughs> happy funnier. for you. Congrats. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, lost 50-50 and then eventually and then immediately after two boot hills. Anyways, um, yeah, I recently played Jing Liu's story and I was like, oh my god, I can't listen to myself. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and, well, I, I like, no, I mean, I think it's like when I'm on stream listening to myself because there's like a reaction. Oh, like chat's watching me listen to myself and I feel like it's sure. embarrassing. <laughs> Like almost like you're getting secondhand embarrassment, but it's yourself. It's like when you're out at dinner with friends and your mom is like, you have to watch this video oh, of a man. Like, I'm so proud of my baby girl, but you're the <laughs> well, one yeah, subjecting yourself to the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, you're like, it's like, yeah. I don't know if I want to show this. Please, yeah, please. Like, I don't know if I, like, okay. I'm not to say or react or, yeah. I got you. But I think it is cool to rewatch later and see how this thing came together. Because sometimes, yeah. like, especially for anime, sometimes we are the first ones to record. So, a uh, misconception, people sometimes think that anime is recorded with all the actors together in no. a booth. Uh, no, we record one by one. Yeah. So, someone already ha always has to be the first one. Uh, and I've been the first one a bunch of times, so I don't get to hear anybody else's performance. But sometimes I'll watch the clips back later and be like, oh, it's cool to see the scene all come together. And that's how they, like, they reacted to my life. That is... So. That is usually 99% of the time how it's done. However, there has been a single, a literal single time I have what? done anime with the other person in the room with me. What? Yeah. And it was with Damon Mills. We uh -huh. were recording Hitori Jime My Hero, which was a boy love show. And David uh -huh. Wald was our director. And David Wald okay. for these like very romantic scenes really wanted us to have that like intimate energy uh, in the booth. Yeah, but that is actually the there was one time. Yeah, actually, there was one project. I probably I can't say the title. There was one project hmm. where I did voice with someone else on the other end of. They what were, was like, it? Anime. It. it was an anime. Yeah. Wow. Was, uh, but it, we were both on like the call together because it was, it was a remote. Oh, during um, COVID. Yeah, during COVID. Gotcha. We were both on the call. Yeah, yeah, gotcha, interesting. Gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. But yeah, that's the yeah. Uh, that's the only instance in my life that I have ever done that, and honestly, I haven't heard it other than that. Yeah. So. Damn. It was not Overlord again, someone said. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> now make little happy lizard noises. <laughs> Damn. Those are noises, right? <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's um, exactly what that sounds like. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean I, I mean, I consume a lot of the media that I happen to be in, and that's just because, like, mm -hmm. I... I mean, I'm a nerd for this shit, right? Like, I, I, oh, right. I, I grew up with all this stuff, and I've been fortunate enough to voice in things that I was going to play, watch, you know, whatever right. already. Like with Kaiju, mm -hmm. with Persona, with like, I mean, uh, Genshin, Honkai. Right, like right. All, Literally 90%. Like it just happens to be the things that I stream. And everyone's like, 
Sai only streams the things he's in. And I was like, no, I just, no, I, I no, it, it just happens to be, it just happens. I, it's I just like, I was going to love this thing anyway. It, it's, I'm just very fortunate that I got to be a part of it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I totally agree. <laughs> like literally when I streamed God of War Ragnarok, people were like, you're only playing this because you're in it. I'm like, no, it's God of War. <laughs> Fuck. Game. Same with like Spider-Man and uh, everyone's like, oh, they're Psy again. Or like and, Final uh, Fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god bro like like i'm just like i'm just i, I bro and, and even when i don't fo like it's gotten to the point where um my my content creator agent will be like hey they want you to to play this you voice in it right and i was like no oh what do you oh. mean you don't and i was like i don't like i thought you were in everything <laughs> yeah yeah literally what they said and i'm like i'm not i just <laughs> I love it. You're like, no, I just did this happen to me a lot. Dude, I don't, I don't, like, right now I'm currently playing Paper Mario, the thousand year door. And, uh -huh. and I was like, there's no way. There's no, no one, no one thinks I voice in this game, but I'm just like, this game has no voices. There's just literally no way anyone would think I'm just playing this. I'm just you, playing you made, this. You made all me. the paper noises. Yeah, I, I am actually trying to do as many of the voices as I can. Oh, that's cute. I yeah, love that. Yeah, like a little storybook. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I uh, know I, I I enjoy it. I, I will say the very first time I heard myself as Shallot in Dragon Ball Legends, I I almost cried because I grew up with Dragon Ball. Aww. So I was like, there's literally a video of me on Twitter. I think to this day, I haven't taken it down. It's just me going, I'm in a Dragon Ball game, and uh, so it, cute. It, yeah, <laughs> like it was like back in like 2018, and um, I was like, this is really cool. This yeah. is this is really really cool. It's crazy to have those moments where you're yeah. like, I really did that thing. Shit. Yeah. So I'm crazy. in there. It's me. <laughs> was it the first time you had that like that that recollect like that recollection? That moment? Of like being in something? Yeah, where you're like, shit. Like you just have that like you're watching yourself from above moment. Oh, in that for that for one hundred percent. Like oh. a one hundred percent for that. But like I before then I I had had opportunities up to that point. Like I had already done my first lead in an anime like i had been in supporting mm -hmm. roles but dragon that was such a because even then like yeah. i had done so much dragon ball like content you know that right. i was just yeah. like this is like so much of me that uh, like getting to be a part of this was so crazy so mm -hmm. I, I remember one of yeah. my friends he i think it was uh his name is afro Sanju, like his online handle he had asked me when i booked that he was like do you think this is it I was like, what? That you've peaked? Like, you, you, like you've made it to the... And I was like, fuck no. And he goes, what? I'm like, yeah, this is like the start. This is like the start for me. Like, And, and it really Aww. was. I was yeah. like, this, this is just solidified that this is exactly what I want to do. You're like, damn, I hope not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I was like, not uh, bitch, I just started. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I had a similar moment when uh, One Piece Film Red came yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah, uh, for you guys that don't know, I voice Uta in One Piece Utah. Film Red. Uh, yeah, Utah. Yeah. <laughs> no, Uta. Um, and we did a premiere at the um, the Chinese theater downtown That's in LA. So cool. It's a huge theater. And I got to bring my mom and my dad. Uh, and I, I remember just like sitting there uh, and being like, holy shit, this is real. And like doing like the step in a way, like with all the, in, like, the cameras yeah. and the interviews on the red carpet. And I was like, am I here right now? <laughs> it's <laughs> it real. Wild. I know. I was like, holy shit. I know. My mom was sitting next to me and she goes, which one's you? And I got to point and go, that one talking I'm right that now. One. I'm that one. <laughs> I'm that one, mom. <laughs> God. That's so cool. It was really cool. Yeah. Hell Crazy. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So did you hate hearing yourself as Uta then? Um, I was actually, I actually. The, no, actually, I actually really liked that. Oh, it was kind yeah. of fun because the, the whole cast was there together. So I think we were all kind of in the oh, same spot gotcha. together. We were all in that row together. So we were kind of all listening to ourselves at once. And it's not like I, there was a camera on me right, watching right, my right. reactions. Uh, it was like a dark theater. And, yeah. you know, the fans are in the back, like cheering. And so, <laughs> it was, yeah, it was more of like a like a we're all in this together kind of moment. Yeah. All in this mm -hmm. together. Yeah. It was cute. Actually, that um premiere was really funny because... um they started the episode i mean they I mean, sorry they started the movie mm -hmm. and it was all in japanese <laughs> and the entire cast we all looked at each other like 
uh, we're here for the premiere, right? And I think it got like 15 minutes in and then it shut off. And then it started back up and Bro. it was the English. I didn't know I, that. I know. I, I'm just like, I was Ooh. I was cackling in my seat because I was just like imagining someone in the back, like pulling their hair out, like screaming orders, like Bro. running around being like, it's in the wrong language, roll it back. That's actually actually Crazy. hysterical i know the scuff follows me what can i say <laughs> <laughs> bro that's so fucking wild i know i know oh everyone gosh. everyone that was there was like huh i gotta i just remember the huh <laughs> god god so good yeah good times and well did we miss anything did we i, I think, think we, we got covered all the bases i think yeah. i think we've covered Everything voice. We've answered every single voice act. That's not true. <laughs> You'll never, never come to me again at a convention and ask a voice acting question. Because we've uh, answered man, it all what, here. But man, what's your favorite voice to do? <laughs> 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 no, that, that's the kind of the beauty about voice acting, though, and that is that it, it is ever changing. The sound for voice acting is ever changing, which is like why I recommend taking so many classes. Like, yeah. I know me and you are still like we still take classes. Yeah, like, I literally time. signed up for a class yeah. like in yeah. like a week or two. <laughs> Yeah, hell yeah. I know. The I mean the sound is constantly changing. We're constantly learning, constantly yeah. evolving. There's always new things. Um, so yeah. Yeah. You're never done learning. Yeah. So you're never done learning. It. Also never mm -hmm. uh don't spend if you're just starting out, don't spend thousands of dollars on a microphone. Uh literally oh. your space is more important than your microphone. Uh yeah. but even then, don't get like don't use a rock band mic. Even, <laughs> trust me. I started yeah. off with a rock band mic. Don't start with a rock band mic. Yeah. Also, your mic is only as good as your um, space. Um, your well, your interface as well. Yeah, that too. Yeah, that mm -hmm. too. That but the too, space as well. Too. Space makes so much difference. Yeah, it's kind of like lighting with a camera. Like mm -hmm. you can have an amazing camera, but if you're in mm -hmm. shit lighting, mm -hmm. it's gonna look like shit. <laughs> if you have a couple of hundred dollars, by the way, there's a microphone called the Mic Parts S87, and it mm -hmm. is supposed to sound like the Neumann U87, which is like a three thousand dollar microphone, and it's usually the industry standard. So. You know, yeah, if you got six hundred bucks, uh, you can Ooh. sound like you're uh, yeah. you're a three thousand uh, dollar voice actor. You interface with that though. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, I always recommend the AT twenty twenty, the Audio Technica. Oh yeah, great mic. Because I think it's like a sixty dollar mic, and that's actually the mic that I started off on. Yeah. Uh, any of my covers from before two thousand fifteen were mm -hmm. actually using that mic. After that mic, I got a Neumann, but. Yeah. I was using that mic for everything before then. Mm -hmm. Great mic. Mm -hmm. uh, you, need, you need an interface for it, but yeah. get like a Scarlet or something. Spend like you know, 200, 300 bucks. Yeah. yeah. Scarlet Solo with a USB-C. Yeah. The new yep. Scarlet Solos are so much better, by the way, in comparison to how mm -hmm. they used to be. Yeah. Uh, and last yeah. thing before I forget, age does not matter. Oh, I saw so many questions about that. It does yeah. not matter at all. Age does not matter. It doesn't matter how young, how old you are. If you're young, at worst, you're going to have to get your parents' permission for, like, industry stuff. But, like, mm -hmm. uh, if you're older, it doesn't matter. There's literally a space uh, for anyone. Uh, that type of voice range. is needed. Yeah, yeah. like, mm -hmm. literally everywhere. And people are yeah. constantly aging out of voices. So, you know, it doesn't matter yeah. when you start, baby. It doesn't matter when you start. Uh, just <laughs> if you are younger and you are out there in the internet, just be careful. Just be careful without uh, about giving out your information. Yes. That's pretty much it. I, I, that's 100%. my one advice. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. But yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. good good luck out there. Yeah. Don't let anybody tell you no. Just just keep keep trucking along. <laughs> yeah. And before we wrap this up, this episode of the podcast, the very first scuff and stuff episode, is sponsored by. Uh, our cover of Hell's Greatest Dads. Go hey. check it out hey. now. <laughs> Hell yeah, available everywhere you listen to music, Spotify, iTunes, YouTube. Just type in Hell's Greatest Dad tech support or Hell's Greatest Dad Amelie or Sayu and mm -hmm, it will mm -hmm. pop up and generate. Yeah. Yeah, so if you didn't <laughs> know, we did one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. There's also another cover we did for Stayed Gone. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they're just they're two two parts, the same. Yeah. Same same song, two parts. Not, not the same song, but like. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I get you. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. From the same show, we're doing the same parts. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm still voicing Alistair, <laughs> like doing the mm -hmm. Alistair as singing. <laughs> I love it. I think you sound great. I love all the comments saying that you that you sound so good. Oh, I'm glad. Alistair, I, yeah. I'm glad folks yeah. really like it. So, yeah. so yeah. Sounds great. But yeah. Hell yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for listening. We'll see you guys next time for episode two. One. <laughs> What? <laughs> the bit is it'll be always episode one. Oh my god. Did you forget? I can't 
fucking believe you, dude. <laughs> That'd actually be really funny. Yeah, that's what we said last time! <laughs>